All right, guys, welcome back. Eric with Foley Mill here. Uh, we're going to be doing another Pertagon. Um, this is new for the range this year. It's a Lubos pattern, um, Lubos Rosa pattern. He's got quite a bit in the catalog. Um, phenomenal angler, as I'm sure you guys know. This is his style um, of a little holographic Pertagon that he does. It's pretty cool because it's like really subtle. So we'll get started on it here. Uh, Jig Force Foley Mill. Um, 14 in the vise. Bit of super glue on here. Secure that. In. <clears throat> Push that up to the eye so it grabs it, holds it pretty good. Um, I'm going to use red for the working thread here. Uh, you can use black as well. It's kind of like a a French dressed um, theme going on here with the black and the red. Um, so you'll see here. Attach your thread. Make a little thread band just to secure that bead. Oh. Getting antsy. All right. <clears throat> Coq de Leon for the tail, as you would expect. Okay. Measure that out with the shank length. But previous video, I like to tie it in just a bit longer so I can fiddle around with it and make sure I get it where I want it. Two loose wraps just to hold it. One good tight one. Lift. Locking turn underneath. And one on top to just kind of splay it out. Trim the butts. And then uh, touching turns. Well, not to do touching turns, but just cover up the butts. I like to make a bit of a taper here so you get that nice carrot shape. All right, so with traditional um, French color themes um, for nymphs and dry flies and whatnot, <clears throat> it's usually red at the back, but uh, this one uses black for the, uh, for the back and the main body, the abdomen, and then it finishes with red holographic. So we got black holographic tinsel, pretty cool. It's nice and subtle. It's not overly done. It's not, it's not cooperating. Take it up underneath and trap it. So I like to make that length of the shank so it wraps evenly. And here's where you I don't want to do touching turns with this. Just to get a nice flat thread base so the, the tinsel doesn't wrap all lumpy on you. But, I mean, you're going to be finishing with resin anyway, so you can smooth it out as much as you need to. All right, start taking wraps. Careful not to wrap over your CDL. A little snip and rip. Then we're going to make a thread base. Then we're going to tie in the red. Like I said, I like to, to do do red with my working thread on this one because it kind of blends in with the collar at the end and makes it everything look nice. But I mean, you can you can use black if you really wanted to. A couple 
couple laps. Snip that off. <clears throat> finish like to throw in two there two two turn with finishes should be more than enough snip now you're ready to resin the body as with all my protagons use a uh, really thin uv that way it seeps into everything fills up all the gaps makes it look nice Good for our first coat. Spin that so it sets nice. Hit it with the light. And you can do your second coat if you want to. I like to just to make uh, everything nice and smooth. Set it. She is ready for the water. It's a pretty good one. Tractor style pretty gone. Red and black. French dressed. Just in a different variation. Time up. Uh, check them out on the website. Fullymill.com. It's a good one to put in the box. Thanks.